the math distance and the number on the right hand side of your scale represents the real distance so if we are explaining the meaning of the scale we would say that one unit and that's the left hand side so one unit on the map represents or is equal to in this case 50 million units in reality and that would be the meaning of that ratio scale explaining the bar scale is slightly complicated because now you need to measure the bar before you can explain uh, i'll repeat for a bar scale you need to measure first uh, we just need to measure from zero to one just one bar to see how long that is so if we measure the one bar from zero to one we'll find that uh, it's actually uh, just trying to be accurate from zero to one it's 50 can you see that and of course my ruler here is uh, uh, doing measurements in millimeters so one kilometer or rather is represented by 50 millimeters on the map so that's how you would explain the scale you would say okay we've measured this 50 millimeters on the map represent or is equal to one kilometer in reality all right the only trick with the bar scale i repeat is you have you have to measure first so you'll have 50 millimeters on the map representing one kilometer in reality all right let's do a calculation you are asked to use a scale to find the actual distance how can we use the scale to find the actual distance from Stellenbosch to George? Okay, Stellenbosch is over here and George is over there. All right, so before we can use our scale to find the distance, we first need to measure. Uh, of course, you could do this using a ruler. So we measure the distance from Stellenbosch to George. All right. It's about 385 more or less millimeters so then you will take the 385 millimeters and you would multiply it by the 50,000 from the scale multiply that by 50,000 so let's just do that 385 multiplied by 50,000 equals to 1 million 925 thousand millimeters remember we measured in millimeters uh, you could also measure in centimeters doesn't really matter because at the end we are going to convert this distance anyway so that is our real distance but this distance is now in millimeters and of course uh, we know that distance from one place to another must be written in kilometers all right so we need to convert that distance to kilometers all right so that is our distance converter and of course if you're struggling with conversions there is a video uh, on conversion so please uh, look out for that video okay so if we want to convert millimeters to uh, kilometers we would divide by 10 to get to centimeters and then we divide by 100 to get to meters and then finally we divide by a thousand to get to kilometers so if we take that distance and we divide by 10 and then we divide by 100 and then we divide by 1000 
we find that our distance is 19,25 kilometers. Of course, this is just an example. That wouldn't be the real distance from Stellenbosch to draw. Just an example. So let's repeat. If you are given a ratio scale and you are expected to convert uh, to use that scale to find the real distance, you first need to take your ruler, measure the from one place to another, whichever places that they are expecting you to find. And then whatever measurement you get, in this case we got 385, you would multiply that measurement by the scale that's been given, in this case 50,000, to get your real distance. And the final step would be to convert that distance to kilometers. All right. Uh,